Okay, welcome. What I want to do is show you how to solve uh, for this equation using the quadratic formula. So, first thing we need to do is we need to remember when can we use the quadratic formula and what does the quadratic formula look like? Well, first of all, we can use the quadratic formula whenever we have an equation that is quadratic type. And what I mean by that, it's in the form of ak squared plus bk plus c, and we can set it equal to zero, and where a, b, and c are real numbers, and k is going to be your variable. Then, once we have something in this format, we can use the quadratic formula which states opposite of b, or opposite, yeah, sorry, opposite of b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4 times a times c all over 2a. So first of all, we need to make this equation look in this format. So what I'm first going to do is I need to add the 1 over to the other side. So I have k squared plus 5k ah, plus 1 equals 0. Now I need to label my a, b, and my c. So a in this formula is 1, because 1 would be the coefficient of k squared. b is equal to 5, and c is also equal to 1. So now what we're going to do, um, so I have a equals 1, b equals 5, and c equals 1. So to do the rest of these problems, what I'll do is I need to plug in a, b, and c in for my formula. Now the quadratic formula equals your variable k. All right? So I'm actually going to write that in front. I'm going to k equals opposite of b, which would be a negative 5, plus or minus the square root of 5 squared minus 4 times a times c, which is 1 as well, all divided by 2 times 1. So therefore, that equals k equals negative 5 plus or minus the square root. Let's see if we can simplify this here. So I have 5 squared, which is 25, 4 times 1 times 1, which is 4. So 25 minus 4 is 21, all divided by 2. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I cannot simplify this any further. So therefore, my two values of k are going to be k equals negative 5 plus square root of 21 divided by 2 and k equals negative 5 minus square root of 21 divided by 2. So I could write them out both ways, um, you know, separately, one with the plus sign, one with the minus sign. But hopefully you kind of get my drift on what I'm doing, and I'm just going to leave it as a plus or minus. So ladies and gentlemen, when doing, to kind of wrap this up again, when using the quadratic formula, you got to make sure first that you have a quadratic type equation and also that you remember what the quadratic formula is. Then find your a, b, and c and evaluate them into the formula, simplify, and solve. There you go. I hope you enjoyed.